Others do not know how to talk about it. They do not dare to talk about it and they do, do not want to. I have to, this is my job. I have been struggling with body problems since I was 14 years old. I've always wanted to lose weight, but I always like to eat. I used to play sports on a regular basis, but somehow after I become a teen, I get bored of it. I wanted to be thin, or at least thinner, and the approach of the summer made me scared. 90 days diet, only fruit diet, carbohydrate free diet, cabbage diet, peels, shakes, I tried everything. I tortured myself and I have never been persistent, never. I got bored. The summer was gone and I could pick up a shirt what covered everything. I did not have confidence, so my spine wasn't straight. There is a picture of what we think is beautiful and that is only the manipulation of the beauty industry. Trying to reach this illusion, I forgot to see my real beauty. I only felt shame and self-loathing. But how I should not have inferiority complex when I when every magazine I see women without fat or cellulite or wrinkles. How I should not feel bad about my breasts aren't perky enough when in movies 19 year olds girls playing uh, characters who are 30 and vice versa. In my 20s I didn't have any serious relationships, although I didn't want to be in one. I had big parties, drank all night, had sex with men and I hardly remembered the next day. Obviously I needed love. I I compensated this gap with eating, with a lot of junk food and chocolate. Every time I ate, I felt remorse. Every single time. I liked my personality. After seven, after seven years of solitude, I became my best friend. I knew what I was doing and what good or bad qualities I had. And I know how I supposed to change to be a better or stronger person. But the body is a different thing. You have to love your body as well. I spent seven years with striving for recognition, living an unhealthy lifestyle, desperately wanting true love. The result was colitis ulcerosa. This is an autoimmune disease. The inflammation affects the last part of the colon, but it can spread and extend the whole colon. In the active phase of the disease, the mucous membrane surrounding the large intestine swells, epidermis develop on the intestinal surface, then gets faint and begins to bleed. A lot. For the patient, this is a discomfort and pain. However, it can be known that autoimmune progresses, processes play a role in the development. This means that the organism does not recognize the bacteria. It senses it as stranger. As a consequence, the immune system acts as an attack to the body and begins to produce antibodies against itself. Unfortunately, the, the exact cause of this self-alien perception is not yet well known. This disease is scary because it lasts for a lifetime. It is not visible. I am the only one who knows it is happening. I am the one who knows there are feces in my underwear, who knows it hurts when I eat something heavy, and I know when it bleeds. A lot. I felt pain. I couldn't leave my house. I was afraid I'm going to die. I was afraid I can't have kids because during pregnancy I can't take medicine. I miss my favorite foods what caused only pain for my body. 
a lot of medical examination, colonoscopy and blood taking. During rectum examination you learn the true meaning of the word unpleasant. I am alone on the toilet and I am alone in the bed when I'm putting my medicine every night. After taking a dump, I examine my stool if there's any blood or sign of inflammation. What everyone gets rid of immediately, I'm watching for minutes. I've lost my femininity because society says a woman doesn't poo. Well, I pooped. Four, five, ten times a day. I was forced to make changes. I was training myself. I learned to cook, eat healthy, studied herbs. I'm still not thin, but I'm healthier and more balanced, and I love my body. I accepted that my hair will not be curly, my breasts will not be perkier, I will not be shorter nor 40 kilograms. I learned to love my wrinkles spots, skin imperfections. I'm not fighting for something what I can't change. I started to do sports again. I ran, swam and did yoga. And I flew. All my attention was focused on this. I painted my hair pink and every day I painted my healthy colon for three months. I tried to heal my body with art. These acts were good to release the pain and fear. I wasn't concentrate on them. During my runs I mumbled, mantraized that I'm healthier. I was full with positive thoughts. My body started to form and finally I was connected with it. My legs and my body was able to carry me far and I really loved it. I climbed mountains because I felt that I have power which can bring me anywhere. I'm listening all of the signs and reactions from it and finally my physical being became my friend as well. I found my sexuality and femininity again. It feels good to be in my body because this is my only home.